Encyclopedia. From the beginning of time, people have searched for ways of keeping a record of everything they know. And to do so, they have used all kinds of materials. Mud, papyrus, rice paper, parchment, or even stone. But these were either very easy to break or hard to carry around. So knowledge reached very few people. Almost no one knew how to read. But in the 15th century, a German publisher called Johannes Gutenberg invented a machine that revolutionized the history of knowledge. The printing press. At last, people could publish thousands of copies of a book quickly and easily. Three centuries later, a Frenchman called Diderot was given the task of translating an English dictionary. But he decided to take it much further than that. Diderot didn't just want to accumulate knowledge, he wanted to spread it far and wide. One of the ideas of the French Revolution was that culture should be made available to everyone. With more knowledge, people would be wiser and have more freedom. Diderot wanted to combine all the knowledge of his age in one book. Subjects as varied as... Queen Cleopatra of Egypt... The Emperor Alexander the Great... The journeys of Marco Polo. All known plants. The planets of the solar system. The discovery of America. or the amazing Leonardo da Vinci and his incredible inventions. Hmm. Hmm. Diderot worked for more than 20 years on his new book, collaborating with more than a hundred other writers. He collected essays on geography, history, philosophy, languages, science, technology, and art in 28 volumes. He called the work an encyclopedia, which comes from the Greek meaning general knowledge. Diderot allowed a lot more people to have access to culture, and so make the world a freer and more just place. The encyclopedia is one of the most important inventions ever because it is the closest we have to a collective memory for all humanity. <laughs>